What cannot be argued is the primacy of Tempranillo to the region as a whole. Tempranillo is Rioja's lifeblood, its dominant chord, the key to its singularity. The mix of weathers, the mix of soils, and the aptitude of Tempranillo to these particular conditions. You may like the wines or not, but what, what nobody can, can discuss is that this is the perfect place and the perfect weather for Tempranillo. The main point in Rioja is, is these two, two things, complexity and elegance. You get that in, in Tempranillo, in these conditions. Rioja's terroir, though it's difficult and various, is, is perfect for Tempranillo. Um, just as Burgundy is perfect terroir for Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Um, those grapes are grown in other parts of the world. They don't have that distinctive, special something that, that just speaks. You know, when you put, put a glass of these wines in front of you, it just, something happens. And it's distinctive, and it's special. And, you know, that's, uh, the great wine regions of the world have that. There aren't that many. Uh, but Rioja is certainly one of them. Of course you can grow Tempranillo everywhere in the world, but with Tempranillo is integrated with the soils, with the climate, with the altitude, with the uh, moisture, it's at Rioja. So in Rioja the Tempranillo is natural. In other places you can grow Tempranillo and make very powerful wines, but in Rioja it's fine. Tempranillo is where it is in the finest situation. I think it's about time that Tempranillo enter the pantheon of the great great varietals of the world. It's got uh, wonderful fruit, it's got earth, it's got structure, it's medium weight, it's medium color, it's great with food.